Right, we are still dry here in the 11 o'clock hour. That will be changing through the overnight time frame and certainly by the time we get to the morning commute and tonight as well, a warmer night underway across Connecticut. Up uh, three to seven degrees uh, in many locations here uh, compared to 11 o'clock last night. Still upper 60s, low 70s inland. Same along the shoreline. These temperatures are not going to be dropping much at all through the overnight hours. We'll bottom out basically in the mid to upper 60s. So uh, we've got this southerly flow as well as an increasing cloud cover keeping temperatures up and while our visibility is good for now that will also be changing as some fog develops uh, dry of course uh, 68 looking live from Waterbury our view from Mystic certainly a tranquil evening quite nice if your plans took it out and about earlier and again visibility across the state still at 10 miles so uh, as we head past midnight and toward daybreak uh, some of the uh, fog will be developing could be locally dense also by daybreak tracking rain already on the approach uh, this cluster's had a history as it moved through the northern parts of D.C. and around Baltimore, as well as through Philadelphia. Some of these storms rotating and producing tornadoes. That overall threat will be diminishing tonight, but it is rain that could be heavy at times here across southern New England as we head into and through our Thursday morning, prompting our first alert. This initial round of rain in association with a warm front, uh, once that passes tomorrow, muggier than today, and with some clearing, we could see as this cold front approaches by the evening commute another round of rain with thunderstorms that could be on the stronger side. So uh, a little bit closer look at home here on First Alert Futurecast. Overcast conditions tonight. You can see by say five o'clock in the morning. Scott Haney will be tracking rain with the state's only live radar moving from southwest to northeast. This most recent round of Futurecast favoring southern and coastal Connecticut with some of the heaviest of the rain through the morning commute time. As we head toward late morning early afternoon you can see a break a lull and as well perhaps some inner Intervals of sunshine that could help to further destabilize the atmosphere with that higher humidity before that cold front approaches, bringing that evening round of rain with perhaps some isolated thunderstorms. Of those that develop uh, more heavy rain, frequent lightning, perhaps some gusty wind, uh, the greatest concern with those as we head towards the 8 o'clock and points thereafter, the threat will be diminishing. From the Storm Prediction Center, that level one risk comes basically right up to the 91 quarter. So we're going to be watching what develops off to our west and then heads into Connecticut uh, late tomorrow afternoon through the evening hours. Uh, the rain, of course, beneficial for our yards and gardens will help to also wash away a lot of the pollen uh, that is out there, uh, giving that kind of yellow greenish tint to everything. We could see half an inch to an inch and a half of rain, perhaps some locally higher amounts, especially if we get thunderstorms that develop and move over the same areas. Again, this most recent round of future cast highlighting areas southeast of 84 and especially along uh, the shoreline in southeastern Connecticut. But that bulls I could move around just a bit. Certainly plan for wet weather tomorrow morning. High temperatures tomorrow dependent upon sunshine. We could certainly reach or even exceed the 80 degree mark inland if we see more sunshine. We're forecasting mid and upper 70s now and low and mid 70s along the Connecticut coastline. So after that lull again, some thunderstorms, the dew point values dropping behind that evening round of uh, rain and thunderstorms uh, behind that cold front. So as we look at our Friday, we'll see a partly to mostly sunny day, some lingering instability the daytime heating leading to some pop-up showers. Most of the state though remains dry. That's basically the case as well for Saturday. But Friday will end the week with decreasing humidity, highs in the low 80s, mid 70s for both Saturday and Sunday. Saturday the drier of the two weekend days. Just again a slight chance for a shower. Sunday it's the morning that favors the highest likelihood for some showers then partial clearing. And as we head into next week we'll trend drier, brighter and warmer by Wednesday. Inland highs back in the mid 80s, close to 80 along the shoreline. All right, Mark, thank you. Still ahead